worked uh, right away after finding out which code to use. So I was, I was totally surprised and very happy because I could continue with the binding and it could be a demoable that it, it really does something uh, useful. Actually, actually you convinced me that uh, I need to implement a feature uh, in a red system to be able to call red function and pass some arguments yeah. to that. And uh, that's uh, well, when you see now that. I see that's yeah. really. When, 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 when you see this code, uh, I can understand why you didn't implement it quickly because it's ne not really code that you can support in a red system macro. There are too many uh, dynamics in there. So this is really code that you need to generate in the, in the interpreter uh, with all sorts of variables going into it and with knowledge of the internal state of the uh, decorated uh, function symbols and such. So because uh, the decorated names here did not come out of the compiler, I had to change them to the names of my, uh, of my callback function. So I had to make all sorts of changes to these few lines and it could never work, but it simply works. But it's something that uh, if you are automated, it can, can't simply be done in a red system macro, so you really need compiler support. So it would be, uh, it would be nice if you, if you no, no. implemented it, but I don't really need it. In yeah, no, <laughs> you can. Actually, I was, uh, this uh, internal uh, API was uh, meant like an experiment to see if which part of it could be used or reused directly or indirectly as a public API for Red. Uh -huh. So imagine plugging Red in on another system like C code or any other tool uh, built with C or any other language. Uh -huh. What kind of API do we want to have? And uh, if it's stack based, we might be exposing some parts of, of this API directly uh -huh. or maybe through simple wrappers around it uh -huh. to make it a bit cleaner and simpler. If you change the red implementation, this code uh, breaks, so, uh, so it's, really, uh, it's really dirty code that shouldn't be there, but uh, it, uh, it, it does work and it gets you uh, callbacks from red system to red uh, already. And apparently uh, all the hard parts were in the red system callbacks from C to red system. So it's, it's really much easier to build a red binding uh, on top of uh, red system if you have already done that, that low level. So uh, you start out with this red system uh, callback. Uh, then you do some, uh, some voodoo to, uh, to, uh, to, uh, to uh, marshal it. Uh, to uh, the red level, even with the stack manipulation. Uh, once you can do that, you uh, need a very small uh, callback function in, uh, in red. And you see that it's really, really minimal, two lines, just to, uh, to trampoline the callback uh, further. And uh, here you see the, the two arguments passed again. And because they're integers, it's, uh, it's fairly simple. And uh, now uh, I have the, the handle to the GTK uh, widget object in red system as an integer and I have the action uh, number that I defined myself. <coughs> and uh, I'm simply putting uh, all the, uh, I'm collecting all the actions written in the dialect. Uh, here you have uh, three actions in this view dialect two here and a third one here and there's a predefined uh, action here close so that needs to be handled especially but there are three uh, code snippets and I simply uh, put them in a, <coughs> in, a, in, a, in a block list so here's the, uh, the dialect uh, Evaluator is the, the view function that, uh, that scans the dialect block and interprets it. And it's a bit uh, big because we don't have parse yet, but uh, you don't really need it to get it working. So this will all get much more uh, compact and more optimal when we have parse, but you can do it already. It's great for me to see there's so much red code uh, yeah. implemented and working. Well, it's actually not much red code, but I'll, I'll get to that. But this is the big red part, 
and uh, there are, uh, these are all sorts of switches to uh, 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 to analyze the words. So here, there's a main switch in the loop over the block to uh, to detect the main uh, mm -hmm. element type, and if it's a word, uh, we define uh, different. Uh, different widgets so we can see that it's a button symbol or a field symbol or an area symbol and uh, here the button uh, uh, the button uh, needs to uh, uh, channel to GTK uh, to generate the uh, uh, the GTK button widget and I wrote the function such that it, in the same uh, function, it adds it to the container uh, that you're putting stuff in. And the root container is the window, of course, that you're opening. And I, I haven't supported uh, boxes and panels yet. Uh, so right now the container is, uh, well, actually it is a box because uh, GTK is structured differently than the red GUI. Uh, than the Rebel GUI, so uh, I have a root window container, uh, but in GTK it can contain only one widget. So uh, the hello world uh, example has just one label widget and you can plug that into the root window in GTK, uh, but if you want two widgets it doesn't work. So uh, after the hello world example I had to extend it uh, uh, you need to put uh, a box widget into your window widget uh, to put the multiple widgets into the box widget. So actually there is a, a vertical aligned box in it already, but you can't see it. You can't uh, define a box yourself yet, so that's next. So uh, it uses a, a box in a root window as a container. So I top... Um, Top is the uh, top here. Uh, the window function generates uh, the GTK uh, window object. That's the uh, top level, and then you immediately need a vertical box uh, uh, within the window widget as a container for all the other widgets. So the the uh, the V box constructor also has a container uh, 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 argument. So first you generate the window, uh, then you generate the vertical box and immediately put it in the window container, at the top. So then after that you work with the container which we know is the vertical box. So all the other widgets get added to that uh, box container. So here's the button, so the button gets added to that container. and. Uh, uh, then you have to uh, analyze what sort of action you want and here you get a similar switch again that's why I uh, wanted you to de debug mm. switch <laughs> so this is all done the three days that that this was made we did a lot of debugging on the functions that I'm using here now so all that code is part of the three, day, three days work I you think, did? I, I, um, I think it was three days that's impressive. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure, but it's very fast because you can build it on top of Red System. And in Red System you had to wade through all the GTK uh, documentation, which is massive and somewhat chaotic. And uh, Actually, it's probably the biggest uh, and most uh, sophisticated Red program I've seen so far. Uh -huh. <laughs> Thanks. So I have to analyze the action. And because I, uh, I support the Rebel 3 style predefined actions, you have to uh, distinguish between a word and a block. And if it's a word, you have to see what kind of word. And at, at this moment, I only uh, define close. Uh, so the close action is defined, and the close action gets a predefined uh, uh, identifier number one. And uh, no action is easiest to define as number zero, so it is passed uh, to some level, uh, but as uh, number one, as number zero, which means no action, which is consistent with nothing there to point to, <laughs> if I may point out. And then if it's a block, you know, uh, you have the specific uh, red code where you can do anything you want. Uh, so, uh, I uh, maintain a list of actions, and that's all maintained in root variables now, so it's all very ugly and uh, 
and brittle, but once we get context, you can uh, separate that nicely. So and, action, uh, yeah, is a block. Uh, actions is just a block. And action, without the S. And, and action is the, the block that we uh, okay. uh, that we took out of the uh, VIT specification, the layout so you're, you're already using uh, the code is data paradigm here. Yeah, of you're course. Storing yeah, of course. Uh, you're storing block of calls that you yeah, yeah. See that dynamically uh, run using do, so it's the interpreter. We'll get to that. <laughs> that's that's the point. When I uh, when I started thinking about this dialect and and how you want to implement the Rebel two dialect, I thought, oh, now you can do it. Now now you have the interpreter. So you, now you can run this code because we now have an integrated interpreter. And if you think about that, we really really needed the interpreter because otherwise this would be a year off. And then you would need the JIT compiler. So you really need the, the interpreter to do this. But once now that we have it, you, you can simply do it. But it's true that in those actions, you can't do things yet that the interpreter doesn't support. Because the, uh, the do block, the, uh, the action blocks are, like you say, uh, uh, executed by the interpreter. Otherwise, it doesn't work. So it's a bit limited right now until the interpreter gets uh, mature. But here the, uh, the action is taken out of the uh, layout spec, just block. So here the action is appended to the actions list. And then uh, the length function uh, happens to give you the index in the block uh, at this moment because it's just appended at the end. And there's no attempt at garbage collection of actions. So uh, the length of the action at this point is also the index. So that gives you the action number. And that will be a problem when I start predefining more predefined action words uh, because then you need uh, number two and three, etc. And you need to shift your numbers for, uh, for, uh, for uh, 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 actions that you define yourself. But at this moment, the initialization uh, is just an actions uh, block list with one dummy uh, corresponding to uh, the index one. Uh, so that you're 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 not uh, colliding with your close predefined action. So anything uh, that you define yourself gets added from uh, from index two. So uh, the red uh, callback wrapper is really really simple. Just two lines where you get the action number from uh, mm -hmm. from GTK because we. Uh, uh, we forced, uh, we uh, fooled GTK to use a number instead of an, uh, an address pointer. And you only need the number because all your management is at the red level. You need to, to evaluate your dialect at the red level because you need to do all those set word analysis and such. Uh, so you really, I thought a bit about what needs to be in, at the red system level and what at the red level. And you really need to do your uh, dialect uh, evaluation specification at the red level. So all the management of the actions is at the red level and that means that uh, an, an integer uh, index suffices for the red level to point to, uh, to where everything is. So all, uh, all you need to pass through all those callbacks is, uh, is the integer index of, uh, of, of the block uh, action list. Uh, so we have those two callbacks that uh, tunnel to each other. Uh, so you know that uh, uh, at the red system level we have an on action callback and then uh, when you start implementing your, uh, your, uh, your widgets, your widget constructors that we saw in the, in the red dialect analysis, uh, a label uh, doesn't have an action, so a label is uh, really very simple, uh, you just call the uh, uh, the label uh, constructor that we already had in Red System since a year and a half uh, and uh, you have to check for a null pointer that GTK was able to allocate it otherwise uh, everything's going to crash afterwards and so you need to make sure that you have it and because I uh, at the red level it was uh, convenient to make everything added to a container immediately you can't do that at the Red System level uh, for reasons that uh, escape me right now because it was a few nights ago uh, but at the red level it's convenient to give a container widget that gets added to immediately otherwise you would have to uh, do the append container uh, 
binding at the red level, but now we can combine it in, in, in one uh, red system function. So uh, if, the, uh, if, the, uh, if the widget creation succeeded, uh, we immediately append it to its container. And then you, uh, uh, you still have to uh, uh, return uh, the widget handle because we may want to use that for a set word construct. So you, you, although you have already appended it to its container, you still need to return the handle for a possible set word definition in the dialect. And uh, uh, this is a routine. So uh, this is written in the, in the uh, red level, like the, the system inlining, but like the system inlining, it's inlined red system code. And that means that we can immediately call the, the older uh, red system uh, binding. So this is really red system code, but on, unlike the, the system class, it's not a, 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 a stupid uh, inlining, uh, but it's, it has automatic uh, value marshalling. So uh, I, uh, I can... Uh, I can marshal string values here from, uh, from red to the red system level and there's some, uh, some ugly marshalling code here again that is uh, probably going to replace by something uh, better abstracted. Uh, but this is how you can do the marshalling uh, right now uh, in, uh, in Latin one format without Unicode uh, with some caveats but, uh, but it works so I can, I can forge ahead with these things without waiting for the uh, for the perfect implementation so that's the most the simplest example of uh, a, 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 a widget constructor the label function and then the button is more complex because you have to uh, see if you need to add an action so you have to uh, evaluate the action number again because well, here it's already converted to a simple uh, uh, action number which we know is a, a, a corresponds to a, a block index in, at the red level, but here at the red system inlined level it's just a number, and uh, like we saw it was convenient uh, to uh, define uh, uh, a zero action uh, uh, as zero because we need a, a fixed number of arguments here. We have no refinements at the red system level, and so we, uh, we can't use a, a variable number of arguments for a routine. Uh, so we want to pass a, a non-action as action number zero, so that we always have the same number of arguments. But then at this level, in the inline red system routine, uh, we can detect that, uh, that there's a zero action, and that means that we can uh, 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 call the corresponding uh, a red system constructor uh, without specifying an action because there we got past a non-action. And here we have a variable number of arguments again, but not by refinements. This is not a refinement, but a, a context uh, reference in red system. So uh, this is the button function in the GTK context, but without a refinement, but it's a typed, uh, a variadic function. A typed variadic function, which is the uh, dialect uh, uh, constructor in red system. So we're actually uh, building the red dialect uh, uh, partly on top of the red system dialect, which was already a typed variadic function with the runtime type information and variable argument length. And uh, that's why if it's just one string argument here, uh, you can write it the normal way, but if it's multiple arguments, you have to write it in a block, in brackets. Not really a block, but uh, brackets. Uh, a compile time block, but it's, uh, it's not compiled as a block, but it's just multiple arguments to this uh, variadic typed function. So it's the same uh, low-level red system uh, constructor. Uh, uh, but depending on the action number, you can decide uh, uh, what number of arguments you need to give. And if, uh, if uh, the argument number is zero, uh, there's no action. If it's one, it was the predefined action close, we remember. Uh, although that, uh, that information is lost here at the red system level, so we have to specify it manually as number one. But we know it's closed, so, so close, so we 
put that in the comments. And then you need uh, uh, to pass the action for close, which is the GTK version of the quit function. And uh, the, the low-level red system dialect constructor takes that as a, as a function pointer. So we get the address of the quit function. And because we do that within uh, the GTK uh, red system context, we know that it's the GTK version of quit and not the uh, red system version of quit. So this is a, a predefined uh, GTK callback uh, that we can use for our predefined red close action. And uh, uh, if we have our own action, uh, we need to pass not the predefined GTK quit function, uh, but our, our own uh, uh, callback, which we called on action, and in the same way we have to pass it as a function pointer, and uh, the red system uh, low-level dialect uh, uh, detects that as a function pointer, and it knows that when it is followed by uh, an extra parameter, uh, that is the, uh, uh, the uh, extra data that we want to pass to the callback. Uh, which is defined by, uh, by GTK uh, event callbacks. So uh, we know that we fool J GTK uh, because uh, GTK wants a, um, a, 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 a pointer as extra data for the callback, uh, but uh, we know that we're just passing an action number but in the red system dialect uh, it must be the full functionality of uh, the data pointer, the, the, the struct pointer. Uh, so in the GTK, uh, in the red system dialect, it is defined as a struct pointer, uh, but an, an, a non struct pointer, so it's defined as a handle type. So we have to cast our action number uh, to, uh, to a generic uh, struct pointer type here uh, to fool. Uh, the low-level red system binding into thinking that we're, we're passing a struct pointer. But because we don't need it, we uh, just pass only the integer, which is really actually a quite abstracted value. Yeah. So, um, uh, going through this binding, you see that it starts with uh, two lines of uh, red for the red uh, callback uh, trampoline. Uh, then all the middle piece is red system for the red system callback. For all the uh, routines inlined red system code that uh, uh, construct uh, the widgets and that are built on top of the low level red system dialect <coughs> widget constructors. And you need a lot of those for all the uh, for all the widgets field area, and for uh, some of the widgets you need accessor functions, and those are simple uh, uh, wrappers from the red level to the red system level. So the uh, the GTK field text to, to get the text out of the field is is uh, tunneled immediately to the corresponding GTK function, and in in, uh, in Red System I already gave it more rebel-like names, but still using the uh, GTK notion of, uh, of an entry widget. Uh, but for the red level I abstracted a bit more, a bit more rebel-like, so I, I call it uh, get field text in rebel terms instead of get entry text in GTK terms. So at each level I clean up the names a bit to make it cleaner and more rebel-like. Now the area widget with its, uh, its uh, similar accessor functions where you have to check for null pointers again if something went wrong inside GTK. And then um, oh, a container widget, the window and the virtu vertical box that I talked about. And then the view function with uh, uh, also with a, a, a trampoline uh, to the uh, red system level, so the main uh, view function is the biggest red, system, red code, uh, which then uh, is built uh, on top of the uh, red system level view dialect constructor. Uh, so here is a routine again to inline uh, a, a trampoline to the red system uh, view constructor. So all the middle part, most of the code is a red system, 
except uh, the very small red callback wrapper of two lines and, uh, and the fairly big uh, dialect uh, analysis in the red view system. But still, the biggest part of the binding is, uh, is inlined red so system. All that is uh, fitting in uh, 147 uh, kilobytes. Uh, yeah, compiled. So it means that uh, adding the missing widgets plus uh, some more red runtime and features, it could uh, we could have a programming language with uh, GUI uh, support, cross-platform uh -huh. GUI support in a uh, 200 kilobytes. No, okay, because there are there are way more GTK widgets, so you'll get way more widgets. So to get it at a fairly complete level, it would really add hundreds of kilobytes. Because oh, really? once once you start, I mean the 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 the, the empty uh, red program at this moment is like 110, 120 kilobytes. So this uh, the red system binding plus the red layer. Uh, adds something like 20-30 kilobytes at this moment uh, and that's uh, going to be times 10 for a, a, okay. a reasonable set of widgets so you'll end so up uh, a megabyte. In, in the direction of the size of Rebel View but probably less, that's true so uh, I, I thought that Red would become bigger than Rebel because uh, you compile to Red system and and you do all sorts of code generation. So I thought, and the compiler isn't optimizing, not optimizing for size either. So I was expecting uh, red, sys, red code to become bigger than, than Rebel Core and Rebel View. Uh, but the first assessments I have now say that it's not going to be bigger. <coughs> and it might be smaller in some cases. It's true. So it's really uh, looking... Uh, quite good, not bad at all. It's very encouraging, it's very yeah. promising for the future. So I have no idea why the, the hello world doesn't show, the simplest thing doesn't Most work. probably you're <laughs> right, it's, it just exits yeah. the event loop immediately. But it shouldn't because it's it's using the same event handler as the uh, the complex example, so I have no idea why it doesn't Anyway, it's, it's already very impressive what you did achieve the so far we have uh, read uh, Thanks. It's uh, really impressive. And that's really a lot of code already for red. Yeah, the number of lines in the, the red binding. The red binding is 300 lines, but most of it red, still red system. And, uh, and the, the main red system binding was 1600 lines of 1900, 1900 or, or 16, it's the next one, oh, yeah, 1600 lines. So we have 1600 lines low level binding and uh, 300 lines uh, high level but still most of it red system. So you really get a very small red uh, wrapper which only analyzes the dialect on top of all red system code. Is all that code and uh, demo uh, already available online? Yeah, it's all checked in because you saw me updating it with the download script. That's great. So uh, anybody can already download it uh, autom automated with the script uh, since uh, three days or manually uh, one fossil repository at a time or, or you, can, uh, you can view it uh, in the browser, so it's uh, it's all uh, available uh, the minute I uh, I get it working. We really need to rewrite uh, and replace Firefox because it still takes uh, 20 seconds to start. <coughs> I need to go. Do I have my uh, bindings open here? Is it here? Now these are the specs. Oh, this is my 6502 emulator. And here's the, the testing repository. It's all available in Fossil web interface. And here's the uh, here's the GTK binding. 
and the timeline is, let's see, I, I added the red binding uh, at 20, January 23. Um, so 23, 24, 25, 26, so three days and a night or something for the, uh, for the red binding so far. And it's all available uh, on the web uh, publicly in, uh, in Fossil.